Welcome to an example of linear equations and word problems. Marcos purchases a top-up card for his prepaid cell phone. His remaining balance, B, can be modeled by the equation B equals 50 minus 0.1 N, where N is the number of minutes he's talked since purchasing the card. How much money was on the card when he purchased it? Okay, so how much money was on the card when he purchased it? So let's make sure we understand what this formula is saying. The balance is B, and N is the number of minutes he's talked. So they're asking how much money was on the card when he purchased it. When he purchased it, what do we know? He hadn't talked at all. N was zero at that time, right? The N is the number of minutes he's talked. So when he first purchased it, he hadn't talked at all using up the card. So how much money was on the card? Well, in that case, 50 minus 0.1 N, and we're saying N is zero. 50 minus 0.1 times zero, that's just gone. So B is just 50. So there must have been $50 on it when he purchased it. That's what that 50 is. That's the initial amount. And uh, which, which intercept is this? Well, the B is like the Y and the N is like the X, right? Because we usually have Y in the front. We normally have Y equals MX plus B. So this is like the little B and this is the MX. They're kind of in backwards order. So this is the y-intercept, or in this case, it's the b-intercept. So that's the answer there. It's the capital B-intercept. In other words, it's the balance. That's what that is. Next question. How many minutes will he have talked when he runs out of money? So when he runs out of money, that means... B is zero, right? Running out of money means your balance is zero. So they're saying take the equation, bring it down here, take the equation B equals 50 minus 0 0.1 N and specifically plug in B as zero. Solve that Solve for n the number of minutes when the balance becomes zero. Does that make sense? That equation is a that equation is a connection between two variables, between the balance on the card and the number of minutes that Marcos has talked. And so they're asking us how many minutes when he runs out of money, when the balance is zero, what is n the number of minutes? We need to solve this equation now for n. So how do we do it? We got to get n alone. So subtract 50 from both sides. And these cancel. So this becomes 0 minus 50 is just minus 50. And this is minus 0 0.1 n. Last step to get n alone, divide both sides by negative 0 0.1. And n will equal, you can do that in your calculator, you'll get positive 500. So positive 500. So 500 minutes. 500 minutes. And this is an intercept. Which intercept is this? This is the N intercept. It's the number of minutes when the balance is zero. Remember, intercepts always have one number zero. Remember on a graph, this is an intercept, and that's if you have a graph. This is an intercept, and that's an intercept. This is over zero, up some number. This is over some number, up zero. So this is the B axis, and this is the N in our case, because the B is in the front like Y, and the N is like our X. So we just found over 500, up zero. And previously, we found over zero, up 50. So this is the N intercept. At 500 minutes, the balance is, remember these points are N, B, N, B, because N is the X, B is the Y. So when number of minutes is 500, balance is zero. Final equation, a uh, final question. What is the slope? 
of this equation. What's the slope? Well, remember where slope is? Let me re rewrite the equation for you again right here real quick. This, uh, what was the original one? B equals 50 minus 0 0.1 in. B equals, whoops. Equals 50 minus 0 0.1 in. This is the slope. Remember, because it's like y equals b plus mx. Whatever's next to the variable, that's the slope right there. There is the slope. So the slope is negative 0 0.1. The slope in, in, an, in a linear equation, linear meaning first power, both the letters are first power. That's a linear equation. The graph will be a line. That's what we call a linear equation. The slope is the number next to the other letter when the first letter is alone. So that's the slope. Okay. And then they say, what are the units on that slope? And they give us some various options. Remember, slope, slope is always rise over run. In other words, it's always y values over x, right? What rise is y. Y goes up and down. Run sideways, that's x. So what's y in this case? That's b, huh? And what's x in this case? That's n. In other words, it's dollars, because that's balance, it's money, and n is minutes. The units are dollars per minute. The slope is dollars per minute. So that's our answer here. Dollars per minute. How we figure that out? Well, slope is rise over run. Y over X. And Y is B. In our case, Y is B. Balance, because that's in the front. And N is number of minutes. That's like our X. And so it's dollars per minute. Balance per minute dollars per Per minute. So there's a real life application of a linear function.